वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स क्लास इन दिस सेशन वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू सॉल्व दी प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड्स प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग सॉलिड एच वी एटीन सॉफ्टवेयर लेट वी गो टू द क्वेश्चन ए स्क्वायर पिरामिड थर्टी फाइव एम एम साइड ऑफ बेस एंड सिक्सटी एम एम एक्सलेंथ रेस्ट ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स कॉर्नर ऑफ द बेस सच दट द टू बेस एडजस्ट कंटेनिंग द कॉर्नर ऑन विच इट रेस्ट मेक इक्वल इंक्लिनेशन विथ एच पी ड्रॉ दी प्रोजेक्शन of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to hp at 40 degree and to vp at 30 degree okay first we need to draw the xy line on one end we will write uh, x and other end y and vp as well as hp and now we need to go to rectangle option and take a visible line and you can uh, zoom for convenient okay so now in a question they give one it is uh, a square pyramid 35 mm sides resting on one of its corners of the base so we need to take the corner condition so we can take the square means here we can take the length 35 height also 35 angle is 45 for corner condition and we can place it in a starting point uh, in hp by making the corner and this is pyramid for pyramid we need to find the center and uh, to the center from all the corners we need to join with the visible line so here for square to get the center we can draw the two diagonal lines while drawing itself if you draw with a visible line it will become pyramid and coming to the naming a b c d and center o of o1 after that we need to go to line normal line from all the points that means corners we need to draw the projection line till the xy and next height of the pyramid they give one 60 height of the pyramid is 60 so we need to uh, give the height 60 means height should be measured with respect to the center and here the center is on the line of uh, b and d so here i need to draw it so here while drawing itself i will take visible line because the edge is coming here so this height we can give 60 and the line should be 90 degree and then from that apex we need to join to the base and draw the base and coming to the naming this point is a dash and this is b dash of d dash as well as o1 dash and then this is c dash and the apex o dash and we need to show the dimensions and show the height of the pyramid 60 and length of the base that is 35 first step is finished and coming to the next step So in the next step, what they said, uh, the pyramid that means axis, ax, uh, axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP 40 degree and VP 30 degree. So first we need to make here HP uh, 40 degree, and the last step we will make VP 30 degree. So we can go to move option, switch on the copy, hold the control, and select all the edges, and we need to pick from. C dash and we can place it next to it. Okay, now this axis should be forty degree inclination, and for that we need to rotate. Go to rotate option, switch off the copy, select entire of this pyramid, and make this C dash fixed point. Don't take the side because in the pyramids. uh the sides are inclined but in prisms sides are parallel to the axis so one of the side if you make uh, inclination axis also become inclined but here it will not be like that 
So here we will rotate the base by minusing the whatever the angle they given with 90 degree because when we rotate it will become the right angle triangle I will show you later. So that's why whatever the inclination they given with respect to HP will be minus by the 90 and that angle we need to give it for the base. So click the C dash fixed point and come to the A dash and make it rotating point and now the base the rotation angle or uh, we can give see rotation angle it is uh, initially 0 you can check it here so it is moving like this so uh, 40 minus uh, 90 that means 90 minus 40 is 50 so we need to give rotation angle 50 and place it see like this we can place it and later you can check the angle go to angle between and select the axis and xy line and this angle will be 40 degree so why I said means see this portion is become right angle triangle so if you want get here 40 means this angle should be this 90 minus 40 so it should be 50 like that we can rotate it easily and go to the move option and uh, move the naming this is c dash and this one is b dash of d dash and o1 dash and this is a dash and then o dash and to get the top view so go to line normal line draw projection line from all the corners from the front view and here the a, a is here from a dash so you can join up to here and get the a and now here b and d is coming so you can join up to here and uh, this point we will get b and then on this point we will get d as well as here we will get O1 and then C, C is on this point you can get it C here and then O dash and O is here you can get it from here and after finishing that we can uh, give the namings here we can start with the A, A, B, C, D, O1 and then sorry this line should be 90 go well, uh, drawing the line make sure it should be 90 degree projection lines and this is wo and now so go to line visible line first we will make the visible and hidden edges here we are seeing from the top you can make the borders first visible that is from a to b B to O and E and back to A and next which is the first point we are getting A dash so A to O is visible so we can make A to O visible and which is the endmost is C dash so whatever line come from that C dash will be done so go to line hidden line so from the C to D and then C to B and C to O also hidden because uh, A O to O is already overlapping that so no need to draw that and this axis line also is overlapping no need to draw that so like this A B C D join A to O B to O C to O D to O all are joined and the next step so next step they said the same axis is inclined to V P at 30 degree and when it come to the axis inclination see the axis O to O1 so this O to O1 is 45.96 initially O1 O1 dash to O dash is 60 actual length is 60 after inclination that the uh, diam sorry this axis length is reduced once the axis length is reduced we need to find the beta angle in some questions they will give appears to be inclined to VP so no need to find the beta angle directly will place it but here they not mention appears to be inclined so we need to find the beta angle so how to find beta angle so first you go to the line normal line so while finding the beta angle you can take uh, the inclination any side either from left side or right side that is up to your wish I will take it from here one horizontal line for reference and then I will give the angle here the actual angle that is uh, minus uh, 30 and you can show that angle also this is actual angle now first we need to go to arc by center point take the 
same this starting point as the arc center and first we need to take the actual axis length that is 60 as a radius enter 60 and we need to draw the arc it should cut the actual angle 30 degree line after that so we can go to uh, a reference line and locus line we need to draw where it is intersecting the 30 degree line we need to draw one locus line second step and next again go to arc by center point and go to the same point which one we taken to draw the arc in the first step and then now we need to give the radius for this apparent uh, axis length that is radius is 45.96 and then we need to draw the arc such that it should be cut the uh, locus of that whatever the uh, initially we taken 6 degree arc and then passing through this go to line normal line passing through this we need to draw the line the line should be extended and now we can check the angle this is our beta angle 41 degree now on this beta angle we need to place the that pyramid so go to move, switch on the copy, hold the control, select all the edges and see here wo is not coming, you can take this line also. You can first, you can split this line. For better, you can go to line here, uh, split option, select this line and you can split this on point. So we can get the wo one at this intersection. Go to move, switch on the copy, hold the control, select all the edges visible lead on everything we need to select it and then you can go to the O fixed point O is fixed point take it and place it anywhere on the this uh, 41 degree that is a bit angle line and then after placing now go to rotate so same thing of switch off the copy hold the control select all the edges and now we need to make O is fixed point and then this uh, A is rotating point and make sure it should be on the beta line. After placing, we can uh, move the namings also, go to move and this is O, C, B, A, D, and this one is O1 and now the final step go to line normal line join one by one so O is here and the O dash is at the top you can join here get the sorry uh, get the O dash here and now same with base here A is here A dash is on this line so you can use the alignment indicator option to avoid the excess line and the trimming. You can switch on the alignment indicator and you can place it exactly on the positions and we can avoid the erasing of the extra lines. And here B, so B is on this line, go to B and place it to here, B dash will get it. And then C, C is on the XY line, you can drop to here. the line should be perpendicular and then D, D dash is here, you can join up to here and then last one is O1 and you can name those points here first, start with the A dash and this one is B dash and this one is C dash and this one is D dash and this one is O1 dash and now go to line visible line. First we need to uh, uh, check the visible uh, edges. So as we seeing from the base, first we are getting the base first. So we need to join the base with a visible line that is A dash to B dash and C dash 
and d dash and back to a dash like this we need to make base is visible because we are getting the base first and next you check the which are the corners we are getting first d and a so these two points will be visible that is side edges that is d to o as well as a to o will be visible so check it a dash to here o dash and d dash to o dash make it visible and by joining remaining if it comes inside the frame will be hidden outside the frame will be visible i am checking now for c dash when i am joining c dash it is coming outside so it will be visible make it visible and now while joining the b dash it is coming inside so we need to make that line hidden and join to this like this you can join and the last one is center that is o1 dash to o dash you join with the axis line and this is o dash before uh, taking the print out you can check the namings any of the namings or overlap with the any lines you can keep those points or namings clear position and then you take the print out because if you not place it properly the examiner can't read what you uh, texted on that particular points so that's why you make sure all the namings should be clearly visible okay okay now the problem is completed <laughs>